The purpose of this meeting is the annual triennial review of gene and placement as well. We'll start off with the introductions. My name is Paula. I'm the special education teacher. Next, I'm going to hand you your parental rights and procedural safeguards, as well as the alternative dispute resolution form. And what this is stating is parents have the right to be heard and to participate throughout the whole IEP process. So please do not hesitate to add comments, feedback, questions, concerns, any of that throughout the whole IEP process. Um, at any time that you feel that you have not been heard or you've not participated, the alternative dispute resolution form is for you to contact and they will guide you in steps and ways to get this resolved. Hopefully it doesn't come down to that. Okay, let's discuss Jean's present levels. Jean has a love for art and enjoys using the materials at the time we have our art stations out. We know she's nonverbal and she prefers communicating her wants and needs through gestures, prompts, and visual cues or verbal cues. Um, socialization, we know that she has a hard to difficult time with socialization. However, she is socializing with two of her peers she prefers to be engaged with, which is a great step movement for moving forward towards her socialization skills. Um, she is able to dress herself with the assistance of buttons, zippers, and ties. She can take slow, deliberate movements while running or catching a ball. And now we've identified that she is given, when we give her three choices to select during her free time, she is able to self-select one of the three items that she prefers to use during her free time. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to the assessments that we ran on Jean. Um, these assessments were comprised of five different assessments. The first one we want to talk about is her nonverbal assessments. So her nonverbal assessments, it was scored on basic memory, reasoning, symbolic, non-symbolic assessments. So I'm going to explain to you what each one is. The memory, of course, is testing her memory. The Reasoning is being able to identify why, the, the what, what happened. Um, symbolic is when we give her words. Can she express and tell us what these words mean? Um, Non-symbolic is when we're given pictures, how well she answers when given picture cues. So when we look at that, we show that memory and non-symbolic, which is a picture cue, she showed higher scores, still showing delayed, but higher scores whereas reasoning in the symbolic one shows that she was very delayed. Overall, her score was a 70, which still shows an indication of delayed on her nonverbal assessments. The next assessment we did was on her academics, which covers reading, math, and written language. Shows her reading was higher than her math being the lowest, so her reading showed a low, which was a 71, and then math and written language shows a 47 for math and a 62 for written, both showing very low. The next assessment we showed was her adaptive behavior, which shows her communication skills, her socialization, communication, and motor in school living, her daily living skill, motor at home, or health and safety should be. Um, socialization was her leisure, and daily living skills is her self cares. So as we can see, which we all know, her communication showed extremely low. Um, socialization, communication, motor, which is a school living, also showed extremely low. Her leisure socialization showed borderline, as well as her self-care showed borderline. Um, her next assessment was wide range assessment of visual motor abilities. So visual motor shows we did a drawing of shapes, and it showed that she scored a 62 with being able to draw shapes. Visual, spatial, which is matching objects, she scored a 55. Her fine motor, which we asked her to take pegs and put as many pegs she could as, as she could into a pegboard, and she scored a 57. So this still shows low scores. Fine motor shows that she was low as, as well um, as matching objects. The last area we checked was her comprehensive assessment in her spoken language. That checked her lexical semantics, syntactic, receptive, and expressive. And for that, it showed that her score was low, but it showed that she contained the same 
all across the board scores basically from a 61 to a 64 and our average was a 63 okay so next I'm going to propose some goals that I had written for her and these goals so one of the goals that I proposed is um, with areas that let's go back to talking about areas that I, she needs improvement on before I go with goals okay sorry so areas that I felt that she needed improvement on was her fine and gross motor skills um, obviously developing stronger communication skills which will also I will also increase her socialization skills to be more confident socially um, so she can adapt to her daily living skills with her parents and her families and friends as well um, we also definitely want to target some of her academic skills primarily math reading and written expression uh, okay so now we're gonna go over her goals so one of the goals I did for her academic ones and this will also begin for her pre reading to get her on the page of reading is I wanted her to be able to identify 15 of her alphabet letters capital um, so it'll be 15 uppercase levels A through P her baseline was that she was able to with physical prompts and cues she's able to follow instructions so the goal I have set forth for her is Jean will receptively be able to identify 15 of the ABC letters A through P by May of 2022 so when given pictures Jean will be able to point or match receptively to the letters this will be measured by teachers and staff using data collection. Um, this will give us a visual to show us which letters she has mastered and which letters we still need to work with. And again, like I said, this also gets her stepped up for pre-reading. Once she masters learning the ABCs, we can go forward with more reading goals as well. She will be given four out of five trials and will be able to identify 15 of the letters with an 80% accuracy and this will be monitored weekly okay next goal I gave Jean was an it was a um, adaptability living life skills goal so on the baseline we I put down that Jean is able to communicate her basic needs however she does need assistance with feeding and dressing herself um, so one of the goals I did put is we're working on the feeding herself. Jean is able to feed herself with no more than two prompts. So when given a spoon or a fork, Jean will be able to put her food or food onto the fo spoon or fork and able to feed herself with a minimal of two prompts. This will be measured by teacher and staff observation and collected on data as well as a visual to see how many times out of the four out of five trials with Jean was able to do this without any prompting um, this will help increase for her daily life skills and its self-independence so give and it's also I'm requesting parents to also do a data collection sheet at home for us to compare and visualize between the two how much is done at school and how much she's doing at home so when given four out of five trials, Jean will be able to self-feed herself with an 80% accuracy by May of 2022. Now as far as placement, Jean will continue to be in special education placement services with additional services that she has been receiving from speech and language, occupational therapist, as well as physical adapted PE to increase her gross motor school, her gross motor skills as well. So these so at this point um, we'll continue with all the placements in place um, parents if you have any questions comments and concerns if not we're gonna go ahead and close this IEP meeting thank you all for coming have a great day